Okay, world zero with their present hunt. A hundred presents total, ten per world. You can pick up ten presents in one world. You get a cosmetic drop uh, from the Christmas events. Uh, so I'm going to try my best. The video will be showing a route that I took that should be easy to follow. Uh, there are sometimes sometimes a teleport, but not always. Um, there should be timestamps for each world. So skip through the video if you need help for one world. Um, and yeah, so it's pretty much just follow along and you should be able to get all 100 presents. The presents will give you uh, 100 presents will give you a title plus a scarf. That's a random color. Um, so uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. So now we're in world one. I'm going to speed up a little bit, not too fast the playback just because the video is 40 minutes long and uh, it's a long it's a long video so uh there is that i do a little i do do a little bit of a little mistake in this world but it should fix itself uh for the most part we'll just do uh you know just do half half speed half playback it's gonna be a little bit fast but should get the job done, I'd say. And look, it'll be a 40 minute video, and I don't want to deal with that and talk for 40 minutes. So, uh, there's that. So, right now we're on what uh, world one. I don't know what gift that was. Uh, five I was not paying attention uh, of that. So, now we're going to head up here to the world boss area, the snake area. And there should be one next to these pillars here. I kind of missed it the first time. It should be right there, but I missed it. But I do turn around and do grab it. I was a bit confused of uh, where it was, but I just the bush is kind of blocking it. So I, I can't tell what number that is. Seven, whatever, six, I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to fall down to the waystone crystal, this giant crystal here. It's a one behind a house over here. That's seven. Yeah, we need three more. Then we're going to go ahead and head towards the beach over here. There's one under this uh, arc. Pretty much. So, a little bit of a cut here. Uh, coming up to the most uh, closest waystone, to the left over here, there's going to be a present over here. So, I'm going to cut to that real quick. So, at the cove waystone, the one we just walked by, there's going to be one at the back here. Got this one last, but I missed, the, missed it the first time. And then, following from that area, the cove, past the cove. Uh, we stone. You want to go head over to the graveyard area for the last one. It would be number nine for me. But once we get number ten, she get a, a cosmetic drop and a weapon drop. So nothing to worry about there. Very easy to do. Uh, and then we get to uh, world two. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, it's just me checking around. Skip this. I know we're fine. Sorry. This is when I was like, oh, I'm missing one still. I couldn't find it till like maybe three minutes later. But uh, yeah, there we go. So this is the should be the last one technically. There we go. Okay, should be less mistakes. So world two starting off at the spawn here next to the campfire, up there, next to the shops, closer shops. Then we're gonna head into this cave uh, over here. Cross the bridge, and we're gonna go ahead and follow the wooden path. One next to the green goblin here. Then we're going to go ahead and head up here where the poison plants are. And then we're going to keep down the path. And we're going to go ahead and head to the right here or one in the bushes here. Then we're going to keep following this path. And there should be a gift box on a bridge coming up here. Right there in front of us, a red gift. And then we're going to keep walking straight into the castle. And there's one next to the waystone on the box. Then we're going to keep heading towards the volcano here. Very much. And we're going to be either... Uh, there is one present to our left here, but I get that one after. We're going to go inside the volcano. And then we're going to backtrack a little bit. That's why I was a little bit, one mistake. I missed this first one. Just head back. We're just back where the waystone was, where the uh, volcano is. 
and then it's just over here in the corner, which I missed the first time around, but it's fine, nothing too far. Get our cosmetics, and we're going to head over to the World 3. So World 3, we're going to head to the bank, inside the bank. Then we're going to go ahead and head down here, next across a cash shop on some rocks here. Then behind the training dummy shed, there's one behind here. And then we're going to go ahead and I teleport to the estate, which is across just a straight line from here. I just don't feel like walking because that's just it's not it's not that it's just isn't a line of sight from the town. So it's just up this hill next to this campfire. Pretty much I ain't walking all that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and reset. And I'm gonna teleport back to town. Back to town. And there's gonna be one on this path next to the waterfall. And we're going to continue to follow this path into the ice cave. Pretty much. This is going to be a long walk. There's a lot of walking on this one. Uh, that's for sure. Alright, and inside here. Then we're head out of the cave, head towards the dungeon entrance, winter dungeon entrance. And there's one to the left of it, close by. Then we're going to go ahead and head towards the world boss. That's on the right side here. There. There's two near there. Uh, so, one next is Arch Stone, like right in front of the world boss area. Then we're going to head to the gift here. Over here. The back of it, and then we're gonna go ahead and reset. And we're going to, well, not re well. You can reset. You don't have to, but you can just walk out. But not that far from here. It's just next to the the well, and the campfire over here. You don't have to reset. But I just did it because why not? Anyways, there you go. So that's ten for us there. And I'm gonna go to world four. World four. Very simple. Next to the waystone near spawn then we're gonna go ahead and head to the bank head inside the bank there's one right there and then we're gonna go up to the top of the bank area and then there's a saloon the gifts on the saloon there so we're gonna go ahead inside and walk up there's that then we're gonna go onto this path over here above the town and we're gonna pick up this one on this path of snakes and we're gonna jump down to the scorpion world boss Head to the little cave here, little outlook here, mine shaft. I don't know. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump towards the elevator here and head up to the watchtower. And at the bottom of the watchtower, there's a gift at the bottom. Then we're gonna go ahead and you could drop down there, but difficult drop, but we don't need to. We can keep going and get that last or get the second last. We're going to go ahead and go to the world boss here and just near the near the world boss at the end path gift. Then we're going to walk to the waystone over here behind the waystone. We have one side of this cave that has no use at all. It used to, but not anymore. Then we're gonna head back out and touch the waystone over here. Touch it to set your spawn. Then we're gonna jump down and just keep following the path. Teleport you to the end of the mine shaft cave system here. Just don't fall off. That's all. Then we're at the end. I'm gonna reset, and I'm not gonna walk because too far. We're going to go to the Pyramid Dungeon, which is at the very top of the map. 
I ain't walking. <laughs> it's to save time. Nobody don't walk. This is such a waste of time. All right. So there's a 10 for world four. Now world five. We're going to go ahead and head to the cell. And we're going to go ahead across the hair, hair salon. Then we're going to go ahead and head inside the kind of shop. And those are the three in the town. This one, a lot of walking. I didn't skip ahead. I didn't do much teleporting for this one. Just one teleport, I think. We went ahead up the hill to the left here. Out of town. Then we're going to go ahead and head to the tower. We could teleport to the tower, which will make life a little bit easier, but I walked. Or why should we walk or skip ahead or whatever? I ain't skipping. <laughs> now teleport out. So, smart. I went to the plains, which is outside who we just came in from. And we're gonna head to the gazebo in this plains area. They always put one here. I might be surprised if they don't put an Easter egg for this next 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 hunt one. Next scavenger hunt. I would be very surprised. Now we're gonna head to the beach area. There's one at the beach to the right side of the map. So let's drop down to the right here. And we have one here. Now we have a very long walk for the next one, so uh skip ahead. skip the video we're heading towards that boss a world boss location which is a two thousand meters from here so long walk but there is two there that we go to so coming up here we have the next one this little hole to the left of this path then we have another one at the boss area, well boss area. Just like so. Then we're gonna go and <laughs> a nice long walk here. Once again, just follow the path to the right. We're heading towards the cliff area, cliff cliffs area. So to the right over here. And then just in the corner over here for world number five. Then world six, very easy. As always, always small area. So into the cell area, then to the upgrade area. The lava is pouring out. And then we're going to head to the pet fusion behind there. And we're going to go ahead and head towards the rough waters uh, dungeon entrance. There is one right outside here. And then we're going to get to this rock over here. And there's going to be one here. Then we're going to go towards this island. Is it really an island when everything's underwater? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, next to this tree. Then under the bridge here. And we're going to go ahead and touch the teleport to set our spawn. Uh, actually... It doesn't matter that much, actually. Anyways, then we're going to head to this treasure hunt dungeon start area behind the skull teeth. And then we're going to go and head towards the shark world boss up here on this rock path. There will be a present up here. Then we're going to do the reset and head back to town and teleport to the tower. The last one. Tower teleports. And then it's going to be uh, down here to the right of the stairs. And that is the last one for World 6. Now to World 7. World 7, uh, we're going to jump down here. Down to the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and reset. Because I'm not walking back up. Okay. 
And then we're going to follow this path to the back side of the town and head next to the pet master there. Then we're going to head up the stairs and the bank across the bank. There is one on the porch over here. Then we're going to head out into the cell area to the right. Then we're going to head out and head to the labyrinth tower. Pretty much. Labyrinth dungeon, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, behind this little hedge. Then we're going to head to the Minotaur World Boss Tower and head behind it. And there's a present behind there. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and just walk to the next one into the plains area. Teleport there if you want to. So in the middle of this water island area, the one there, I'm going to head over to the dark village area of the map. Join the chains like World 9 and Sword Burst 2. Classic. Um, we're going to go to NPC over here behind them there is a presence and then there's gonna be a presence in the back side of the village here and then now we're gonna reset back to town and then we're gonna go and take the teleport to the tower that's the fastest way to do it and easiest way to do this on the tower there is the last one for us here then we're going to go to the next world which is a world where are we on eight uh behind this tent looking thing then i'm going to do the parkour i messed this up a little bit but you take the ladder eventually i forgot how to do this Head up there for number two. Then we're going to go ahead behind the dungeon board over here for number three. Uh, it's a bit of wonky pathing for this one. It's a bit difficult. This map is massive. A lot of walking and all that stuff. So number four. Then we'll head to Alligator Island for number five. I think. That's where we're number run. On the wall. Then we're going to go ahead and reset. Uh, and we're going to go. Out back from town. And head straight. Until we reach the end. And then go on a bridge. And uh, next to the campfire. Pretty much. Now this world I do teleport. Because I ain't walking. Around this area. So. We have this one here. Then we're going to take amazing uh, jump over here you can make it surely and then we're going to be heading towards one of the entrances the sky entrance dungeon or puzzle whatever it's called and we we'll go ahead and finish this skip ahead i won't i won't skip this but you just gotta do the parkour and get to the end you can't use a teleporter the arena teleporter to get to the end because you can't get i'm pretty sure there's no way to get up from the bottom or the top i am pretty sure that's how that goes mostly
All right. The end here. Then we're gonna reset. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport. As long as you know where this is, we're heading towards the nature entrance. The other obby area next to it, there's gonna be a present. And then we're gonna go ahead and head over into the, not arena, but the nature obby. I wouldn't, I don't think you can go from the arena. You might be able to, but I'm just gonna do the, do the parkour from here. Pretty much. It's only like, once you get up to this building, to the top, it's just right there. Not the whole thing, kind of thing. Just right here. Right before these platforms. And then that's number uh, 9. We're going to reset. Um, there's no tower teleporter from town, but... It's next to the tower. I tried looking for it, but I actually kind of forgot that there is no teleporter like the other world. So if you have it, if you don't have it, then it's on the left side of the map. I'm um, present over here. I'll walk out here just in case. But other than that, that's all the presents for world eight. Just outside all this area. And then we have world nine here. World nine is pretty small and pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we got the first one behind the hair salon. We're going to climb up here. And grab these two. That dash across. Then we're going to head to the tower. Uh, area. For one up there. All right, then we're gonna head down to the outpost, the abandoned outpost, whatever it's called. And we're gonna head up here. I know what the easy way to get up there. And then we're gonna head to the blue entrance, castle entrance. Actually, I lied. Then we do mammoth, mammoth first, yes, behind the waterfall. Always, but you always gotta put it behind a waterfall. Nothing else, no excuses. Then we head up to the blue castle entrance up here. There we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and teleport back to town. Get the rest from the right side of the map. So we're gonna go ahead, head straight. And head down into the cave behind this waystone. Next to the crystal. Then we're going to go to the Aether Dungeon entrance, whatever it's called. It's called Aether, Aether Fortress. And it's next to this wall over here. And we're going to go get the last one, which is near the Mammoth World Boss. On top of this uh, rock, on the middle of here, and that is the last one for World Nine. And you might be scared for World Ten. World Ten is pretty easy, so that's good. They made it easy. So starting World Ten, the first three presents right here in front of us. So only to find seven technically, which is good. Uh, then with the zero altar across from it, there is uh, boxes behind here. Then we're gonna go head towards the Colosseum for two more. So follow the path down here. I kind of walk past it, but that's whatever. Just uh, make a little bit, of, make a little bit of a loop here. So from this waystone, you can head backwards uh, next to this building over here, the smaller area, circular area. This is the, the main the world boss one, and there's another smaller one behind it and near the town or spawn area. 
Then we have one up the stairs. Then we're gonna take the elevator to this island over here to get two more. A lot of walking. Pretty much. We're gonna go inside the crystal cave and head to the left to pick up the present behind some rocks. And then we're gonna head out and head to the very back behind the group, like past the greenhouse. Now all the way to the back of the map, next to the gazebo. Uh, behind a wall. This one's like annoying compared to like the uh, most. It's like you have to walk by there. It's behind a wall and you can't see it any other angle except for being there. So that's fun. Then we have the last two, which is going to be the other next to the uh, the Astral Village and Astral Academy. So we're going to take the elevator, magical path, whatever it's called. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the final two. So we're going to land here and stick to the right side. And it's just over here to the right. And then the last one is going to be at the Astral Academy. Just like the last one on the Pumpkin Hunt one. That's it. So that is all. Make sure to pick this up. You have one week to finish this. Usually timer is there. Um, and the Christmas event starts next week. Uh, make sure to claim your quests in the Holiday Village quest side quests. Get a random color and a title. Claim that. I got a white scarf, which is, I mean, pretty good, I guess. Subtitle, present hunter. And then a uh, white scarf, which is a... Uh, well, you guys enjoyed that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a long video, but should be good to go with that.